de ba ye kene de mono asim ka nko ye chiri ya zelo asim mono tutu oma e ife oma mbo de oma stane ebi si wene sere enu bo sin keta na eastern is 24 ay sinon ya dero nyobu na na mma kada bundi ne sere eni nwa kupo ni ya ide ebe di chiche enu bo sin keta isi na nwa ya dera ni ibo na mma na ya ri ke echi na echi ya da gwa gwa Um, if I na boya bifa wo teru no bosin ka ta bifa na we bo morning tea ni dwa kwo e ya bo basta maka ya biye ne me na obuda ino ni mia ana basta maka ngolo wendi bona zo e di ko si de o woli e ah bia flam prime minister ku ni dwa kwo ngwe teru no kun ge ya bifa kun ge se ya bifa na ti ya lo nko ni funu chedo basta maka ye nda ni me o huga si ni dwa kwo di chiche no bosin ka ta na morning tea Um, the key in a gear beef, drop what are your own comment in it? What for other one? All right, over to you, sir. Doctor, and you have 49 million votes. No, in the last election, we won this Nigerians that what you need is not election. They call from ahead. I told them, You do not want election. The whole people contesting for to become president of Nigeria are all criminal. The main three but, uh, 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 candidates, they are all criminals. Article is a criminal. Article embezzled money, Nigeria money that should have built hospital schools. Even if you use the money to build hospital schools, it is still going to crash because the foundation is faulty. Article took the money to America. He was indicted. He's a criminal. If it was in Europe or in London, in the United Kingdom, Atiku can never be allowed to contest the election. But in Nigeria, it is normal because it's a foundational problem. He contested. He bragged. Tinubu is a criminal. He was indicted in the United States for drug trafficking. Not only that, with other crimes that he has committed, both in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Today, they found him worthy to become a president. We won against the election. Nobody listened. They signed petition against me. Today, the same people that signed petition want me to ask their friend to protest. It's impossible. Peter B is also a criminal. While he was the governor of Anambra State, he has money, $50 million in offshore account when he was asked he said they, he was advised is that excuse in the court of law that you were advised but as a governor you are not supposed to have offshore account what i'm telling you is a fact and that makes him a criminal for other ones we don't know about so if peter b was supposed to be in the united kingdom do you think for those of you living in the united kingdom do you think with the money violating the law and the constitution of the united kingdom by banking up to 15 million dollars in offshore account which he said he uses to service his business do you think he will be coming out to contest election in the united kingdom the answer is no so why is he contesting nigeria because it is a foundational problem you know when we say it like this we don't, we don't, we don't like it. we will not like each other especially those who are standing on the way of the sources and the future we are trying to build for our generation. Those of us who come abroad to learn and want to bring back what we have learned. I did not just come to learn how the system works. I have also come to learn how to become a beast to liberate my people. The country where I'm living, they fought like beasts against Russia. And the beast in them is called Sisu spirit. That is what I have possessed and possessed me. I don't know what you have in your own country where you reside, your history. Allow the history to pass through you and use that history to change your country where you come from. I have allowed the sister spirit of Finland to possess me and pass through me. Not only that, I have also allowed the system of Finland to possess me. That's why I am fighting tooth and nail. Putting my life online because they did also put their life online fighting against Russia to become what they are today. What I'm doing today is not against any law. You can't kill my people 
for many years and nobody does anything about it. Today we are killing you back without remorse. If you have the power to kill us first, do it. But if you are in Biafra land as a military, terrorist army and police, you will go down. I am telling you, if you don't go down today, you go down tomorrow. Even though they are not reporting it, we continue to eliminate all of you to protect our women and children. You have killed them enough. So we told them that election is one is not what they need. What they need is a referendum so that the people who have come to see light will choose their way, how they want to live their, their own life. You cannot be deciding for me. You cannot be telling me I must live with you when Akpabio is a criminal and become a Senate president. And I must come and see Akpabio, whom I know very well that even in the worst country in the West, he can never be a counselor. I will look at all these things, I will swallow it. Allows people who do not know what future is all about to decide the future of my own children and my generation. That is impossible. Today, if they stand on our way, they will go down. You don't know what is coming. As you are looking at me, I have seen comments on social media that you are a heartless man. That is an understatement. I have no heart. And that is exactly what Nigeria needs. And you are going to see more of me. When Mazen and Dekano was captured, I told you people that a time will come when you are going to know who Simon Ekpa is. We have not even gotten there. Wait, after the declaration. After December 2nd, you will see madness in the highest order. I welcome every one of you. I thank you, Bia France, for believing in me and following my instruction. And today you see I have saved your lives. Many lives have been saved, even though they will still come from the backyard to kill you. But of course, not all of you will die. We will defend you as many as we can. The remaining people that make it alive will enjoy Biafra and enjoy freedom. Freedom must come. I welcome all of you. The media team take over from here. I will take questions. Thank you, Thank you, the Prime Minister of the Biafran people. You've said it all, and here now we would bring up Biafrans to ask some questions to clear their doubts. And before then, Mazi says over to you, my second co host. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mazi And good evening. Good evening, Prime Minister, and good evening, fellow Biafrans. Uh, wherever you are spacing from across the globe. Uh, today is 20, today is the second day of August, which marks the end of this very um, uh, seat at home that has exposed Nigeria to it is core. And uh, I want to congratulate their friends for making it. And let me say state that uh, we started the seat at home in ITOB on 23rd of September in the year 2016. And what gave birth to IPOB uh, sitting at home was the killings of the Afrans whenever they go out to protest for the release of our leader, Maznam Dekano, during his first incarceration in Abuja. I think I'm coming out clear. Yes, you are coming out so, clear, sir. The then the deputy leader Okay, the, then the deputy leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazu Chemofo, issued a seat at home on the 23rd of September, 2016. And it was glorious. And second that followed it was on May 30th, 2017. By then, Oyendo has been released. And it was superb. And from there, we picked up the seat at home. So when we, when our prime minister ordered for a seat at home, don't think he manufactured that from the moon. 
And they don't blame him, maybe he's uh, strangulating the economy, he's making people suffer. Those who have agitated before him have done it. And there was no blame apportioned to them. So why do you blame our prime minister? I'm talking to the full news and the Afonjas, because as of their friends, they're not complaining. And yesterday, he, through the spirit of Biafra and Chiko Kabiyama, did not even put sit at home. He lifted the sit at home yesterday just to see, test the spirit of Biafra. And it works very, very excellent. Where it was under complete lockdown. Aba was under complete lockdown. Uh, which other city that followed? Uh, where Aba Enugu was under complete lockdown. Then Abakali was under complete lockdown. Anambra, part of Anambra had a partial movement and the city of Onitsha was complete lockdown. And so also to other parts who have not been observing this. Stores were not open. It is because the spirit has taken over. And I'm telling you, from the day we hosted flag until the day of a, a Finland a convention, the next spirit that came down was yesterday. And I'm proud of my Prime Minister. I will say, Prime Minister, your work is great and we appreciate it. So please follow Prime Minister. Follow every of his advice, every of his directive. He know how to deal with these terrorists and he's dealing with them and do not have help. And he continue to deal with them until they exist no more. So Today we have come to celebrate the end of the four days lockdown and to thank Bia France for making it a success by rejecting Nigeria and all its entireties. Those who come under the pretense of protest for the betterment of Nigeria, you rejected them. That is one of the fantastic things that you have done. And I say, may God who created Bia France bless you all. Thank you, Prime Minister. I think you should uh, bring um, our uh, Minister of Information back, please, because, uh, you know, when you're hosting space, network is not always favorable with me. Uh, you can bring in the Minister back I'm and make him hope. I'm here already, success. Thank you. Um, Mazu Sami is uh, there and he's also a speaker. I think maybe the, his network is having a challenge. And, uh, okay, Sami is back. If uh, the Prime Minister Sir, you can also ask for me to be co-host, sir. Thank you, fellow Biafras. You're all welcome. The Prime Minister will take questions, and then um, we are not going to waste time. Please, uh, everyone in this space, you can see the subject matter. It is Biafra, freedom, or die. Make your questions very engaging. The Prime Minister is always challenged with questions that are indeed very, very strong and solid and challenging you know, move him to give you that answer that you have been waiting for all this while. You know, all those things that have, they have been telling you he is, he is. All those things they've been accusing him of, and all those propaganda against the Prime Minister. Please, today, feel free. The Prime Minister will not fight you. He will not do you any harm. He will only answer your questions. You know, please just do that today, and uh, your life will never remain the same. And as you are coming in into this uh, uh, space, raise up your hands so that I will quickly, you know, give you the microphone. Let's do that. Uh, Mal Sami, you're back. Is there anything you want to say so that we'll begin to get the uh, people in to ask the PM questions? Minister of Communications, are you there? All right. Um, my minister is there. And I'm sure... Yeah, bam, bam, bam. Continue, continue, continue. I dare you to back you up. Okay, thank you very much, my guy at the top. Thank you. All right, please, you are not raising your hands. Okay, let me just quickly start with um, uh, Mr. Fax and Data. Mr. Fax and Data, can you please unmute yourself and bring that question that have uh, so much uh, been bothering you? Mr. Fax and Data, you need to unmute yourself and uh, bring up your question, please. It's a fact, and data and is not ready. Okay, we are going to give you a Chuku CUM TV. Please unmute yourself and uh, bring your question. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Good evening, Prime Minister Moses Simon Can you hear me? We can hear you, please. Go ahead. 
Okay, um, I'm very happy to be here. I'm, I'm a regular. I'm a regular here, and uh, I greet my Prime Minister, I greet uh, Mazi Sonny, I greet uh, Mazi Van Van Vama, and every listener here. Well, I have to say that uh, Mazi Simon Onepa is really a thinker. This thing that he talked about, this reader, this night, I never thought that he is going to go that far. We all read that reader. And everything he talked about that toys was true. While we were in primary school that time, we were like, I was like, I was thinking that Toto is, is, was a, a very big animal. I don't know, it's a one kind small animal that used to deceive all the whole animal. I was, because that time we were small, and we don't, we don't have, a, uh, we don't used to see Toto is in my village and all that, you know, until I grew up to become an adult before I see Toto is, you know. So I was like, is this this animal that they're talking about that have been deceiving all the big, 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 big animal? This thing was is a very very, much Simon require you I think. So one thing I what uh, the only thing I want to say is that, uh, I said Dokubo made a, a comment last time, how he killed the Afrans during the, the NSAS protests. My question is this, Mazi, don't you think, I said Dokubo is going to be a threat with his Islamic agenda, in Biafra, when we when it's Biafra not, is, no, it can Thank never you. be a threat. He can never be a threat. We have eliminated all his jihadist fighters in the southeast. Do not ask him a question. That's why he's irrelevant. So he just come to use uh, this uh, protest to try to get relevant. We eliminated all his fighters from A to Z. He, don't you know when he was bragging and bringing gun on our social media? Who did this and do that? He they contracted him. His uh, security is uh, everywhere. He's doing this. Uh, are you hearing them saying? Are you hearing him saying it again? We eliminated all of them. We killed all of them in the bush. Good. So it's not a threat. Open, open. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you. This is what I just wanted to say. Please keep the fire burning. Dear friends, love you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Chuku. Thank you. Uh, the rest in the room, nobody's raising hand. I'm just going to be picking uh, one after the other. Biafra liberation Please, update. remove me. Remove me so that other person do can. Don't worry. Don't worry. Biafra liberation updates. Uh, please unmute yourself. Please do just finish speak now. I have removed him. I've removed him. Okay. I've removed him. The FN liberation update. I gave you the mic. You don't need to raise your hand anymore. Just take the mic. Unmute yourself. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually coming out today. Pick up, please. I don't know. Can you can you hear me, please? Uh, please, uh, you go and come back again. Something may be wrong with your speaker. Uh, please, um. We'll give you the mic, uh, bold, bold, please uh, grab the mic and uh, come up with your question, please. Hello, uh, my question is simple. When are we going to be, make sure that all the zoo military ballots in all, all, around the Biafra are eliminated? Thank you. It will start from 2nd of December. All right, you're okay. Your question has been answered. Uh, let me call you up again for the last time. If you don't pick up now, we will take you down. Mr. Fat and Data, unmute yourself and come with your question. Mr. Fat and Data, unmute yourself and come with your question. Mr. Fat and Data, okay, he's not ready. I think uh, someone else should take that space. Um, who do we have here? We have uh, Biafra is a must. Biafra is a must. Please unmute yourself. Good evening, Mazi, Pastor Van Van Van. Good evening. Good evening, my Honorable and His Excellency, Prime Minister of the Biafra Government in Ezai. I voted for you, so you are my Prime Minister. <laughs> Not self acclaimed Prime Minister, but a real Prime Minister, a real leader, a leader that has shown in all cases that he is capable of leading his people. I respect you, sir. My name is Eliezer. Pastor Van Van Van, good evening. It's me, Eliezer, your boy. Go ahead, please. You have to see Yeah, 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 yes, sir. I appreciate every work you people are doing. And I pray for the grace of God to be upon the life of our Prime Minister. He's doing a great exploit. And Elohim, Hashem, will continue to lead and guide him with wisdom and more inspiration and more wisdom to continue in the journey. 
in the name of Chukoki Kabiyama. I want to just ask uh, Prime Minister, I'm of a great concern of my region, the uh, Cross River. I know that in Bakasi Peninsula, we have our Navy there in Cross River, uh, close to the capital city of both Cross River State. But I'm talking about the Ogoja part. I don't know if the Biafra Liberation Army is functional because that is my region, that is where I come from. And I, I can also apply to be part of the Liberation Army as the declaration, uh, they get closer. So I just want to know if the Biafra Liberation Army in, in the Cross River North Ogoja Axis is uh, functioning. We are, we are, we have a command in Ogoja. Are you sure this one, your voice is sounding like a random mockery? You can carry on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> oh, are you sure? Prime Minister, I'm willing, I'm capable. We have suffered a lot. We have suffered a lot. Where Everybody the, where the is displeased. Come, where the time come, you will know. Uh, okay, sir. But mm -hmm. I, I just w want to ask another question uh, about the Biafra efforts. You know, the zoo terrorists, uh, Janjaweed uh, Air Force, we like to come through air since they know that on the ground our men are capable of curtailing their excesses. So, how prepared are we to, in case they take the war to, to us, like they did in 1967, where they started bombing my, com my community in Ogoja, another part of Biafra land? In case if they try doing that, if we want to take the war also to them, because the best form of attack. Uh, the best form of defense is attack. If, so the, if you want the, to, so with all the with all the name, all the the hailing you were hailing, bam, 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 I thought you were following. You have been following this. Uh, this I've been invitation. following. I just no, no. And I've been here, following. You are here worried about. Uh, uh, do you know how many times they have they are bombarding? They are, are you, don't you know that they are bombarding Biafra land as we speak? Don't you know, I know that sir. we are also resi resisting the air bombardment already? Sir, I know. I just wanted... Let me finish my question. You understand where I'm going to? No, your question, your question started very wrongly. No, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but let me finish it. That we have actually proven that we are defeating and repelling them from the air. Sir, they I know we are defeating them, but... Tukano, I... Listen, listen. They have used Tukano on us. We repel them. They have used the, no, the, the uh, newly acquired... Uh, fighter jet we have repelled them in fact we even shot one down are you aware of that so i'm aware of all this i'm aware but i that want one, to add one fly and went to uh, port Harcourt to crash i know i'm aware it. of everything so, so i'm aware, I'm aware of everything you, sir what i'm telling you now if you are aware of this why are you then worried about uh, no 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 what Goja what i'm asking Goja. i'm talking about we too taking it to them we we have to have fighter did here you know, to bomb did you know, did you to know, bomb Rock. Did you know? Did you not see that we are taking the war already? You can't take war to them without a declare. A bomb again, the Daluline and Umu Umife. Couldn't see when I saw I need one Eastern is twenty four. No passing Katina, where morning tea. Una Nugunu, Yabife, Bogodioka, Yabife, Maze, Simon Epa, Bobia Fran. Prime Minister of the African Public Government in SI. I do call see Duna Fukosia Ada, near Rapopo. Again, Kiwaliku, Bastama Kaya Bifenda, Nino Fugasi, near Rapopo, the teacher, a drop on a year on the comment section below. Also, the Poki be a Bobon and Cabo Bosis Guinea, Serena, near Rapopo, or in a four, ya be on your nyai, Cabalo, Kelaiki, Antono, or no notification. Share where called the Gwendozo, Munai, the neighbor, the teacher. Daluri ni nibo mane gente. Ogena dera nyo, unyendu ya putana yonomboro, kemesiano, umunemu.